Right, what's up guys, JJ Richards here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are back on the road, giving you guys another UK gym tour. So today we're back in Froome, but we're at a different place today. So you can probably see behind me, we are at the Watson 24 seven gym. So we're going there, hit up a little bit of back, a little bit of biceps. Now I have actually been to this gym once before but it must have been about five or six years ago. I think pretty much when it first opened, we came and checked it out. So it has been a while since we've been here. So hopefully it's a little bit different, but we're gonna go in there now, hit up a back session, go through some of the bits of equipment that they've got in there, kind of give it my feedback on what I like, what I don't like, but I'm excited to go visit another gym and have a sick workout. Right, let's go. So our first exercise we're going to do today is we're just doing a mag grip pull down just to get the lats nice and warm but one nice thing they've got in here is they've actually got the full range of mag grip so for me when it comes to doing pull down I almost like the median grip one just because I find it hits my lats a little bit more but they do also have the super wide one but for me that's just too much of a wide grip I don't really think I can get the contraction on my lats too much and then They've also got two variations of the narrow grip as well. So if you haven't used the mag grips before, they're really, really good because um, it just takes a lot of pressure off your forearms and biceps. So if you look, it actually puts your hands into a hook position. So you're not really utilizing much forearms. You're just able to drag and just use all that. So very good. Right, so second exercise, we're gonna use the, um, I keep naturally wanting to say, the Watson seated row, but it's all Watson. So this is the, um, the T-bar row version, but it's actually really good because um, there's a lot of adjustments on it. So you can adjust the foot plate, depending on your height as well, which is really good. And then also you've got the ability to adjust the handles back and forth as well. So it's quite nice, you can actually adjust the machine to work around your biomechanics, and obviously how you best feel the movement. Whereas a lot of the times when you're kind of using these chest supported rows, the fix in the set position, that doesn't always naturally suit everyone's movement pattern. So this one's really nice, and also the handles as well. I've got the ability and the flex to move left and right, and obviously back and forth as well. So yeah, nice bit of kit this one. So next movement we're gonna do is the plate loaded pull down. So I've actually used this machine at a gym I've been to before and the angles are not amazing on it. So I find that if you use this narrow one here, it's just way too much bicep. And this one, I just don't find I get a nice contraction on it. However, this grip here seems to be the sweet spot for me. So you get quite a nice contraction on the lats. And it's not too much bicep because sometimes on these machines, where you're pulling in this motion, you get a lot of bicep and not so much back. So just be mindful of that with grip positioning sometimes. Make sure you're hitting the lats, it's just not too much bicep.
So the only one downside of this gym so far is they only have bumper plates, aka ego plates. So this machine's actually quite light and as you can see there's no more room left on the bar so we're just gonna stick to doing high reps so we're gonna stick to that 12 to 15 rep range but they definitely need some thinner plates in here for some of the machines. Right, so one thing about Watson that is just better than any other company out there is the dumbbells. They're absolutely insane, but this gym have actually got both sets. So if you look, you've got the thin grip and also the thicker grip as well, with like the rotating handles. So we've got both sets of every dumbbell here going right up to 60 kilograms. So you've got the option to either use the thinner handle or the thicker handle. For me personally, when it comes to most movements, I've fed a thinner handle, apart from when it comes to doing biceps, which we'll actually do today. When you use the thicker handle, the forearm pump and the bicep pump is just insane. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna do two sets of dumbbell rows. We use both arms together, two sets, 15 reps, not going crazy heavy, so just gonna use the 40 kilos. session at the Watson gym 24-7 in Froome. It is in Wiltshire, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Wiltshire. So, review. We're going to do it together this time. We're going to tag team this review. So, aesthetics. What did you think? Did you like Very pretty. Yeah, I quite like the pink to be fair. And um, it kind of makes it a little bit more inviting to females as well, rather than being quite a grungy, hardcore look and feel. It softens it up a little bit. So I think. Yeah, but I don't think it's too feminine. No, pink's, I'm, I'm wearing pink pants right now. Oh my God. Whoa, look. Whoa. See, matching pants to the gym, so. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe for that kind of content. Um, so yes, I quite like the color and it all looks very, for my OCD, it's all very symmetrical, aesthetically pleased and everything matches, which is good. Yeah. Atmosphere. A bit flat. I, I thought so, because to be fair, the gym, the, the thing is normally if the gym was quiet, you'd expect it to be flat, and we do normally try and train during the day because the kids are at school, and also if it's too busy, it's quite hard to record, but it was quite busy, wasn't it? It wasn't, it wasn't dead, but it wasn't absolutely rammed, but it just, I, it, it's really hard sometimes to kind of put your finger on what atmosphere is. It felt like people were going there to train to be fit but not necessarily train for a particular goal yeah i think it's like a it could be an like an average joe pure gym of, yeah type of atmosphere i think yeah I, I i quite i get off on when you see people in the gym and they're training really hard and they're they're clanging and banging lifting lots of weights whereas in there it it just felt like people were in there quite it was very static wasn't it you know everyone's on the phone in between sets and no one really seemed to be training very hard it seemed it seemed quite flat, and sometimes that's not always the problem of the gyms, it's the problem of like the, the customer and who's in there at the time, but if you went there at maybe five, six o'clock when a clientele's different, then maybe it might have a bit of a better atmosphere, but based on the gyms that we've trained at, it felt really flat. I don't know if it was the music in there, because the music wasn't really pumping, was it? It was more like radio-style music, but yeah, 
not a big fan, but overall, like, let's go through some like pros and cons. We need to start talking about a few negative things. And this isn't, you know, criticizing gyms because it's probably impossible to find the perfect gym. Like, especially in the UK, there's always some gyms that need a little bit of something extra. So if I kind of look at the, we'll start with the, the cons first. So for me personally, I quite like it when you go to a gym and you've got a variety of different branded equipment that you know the gym owner has hand selected and picked because they've used it and it's been good. So I'm not a huge fan of like, especially if you go to health clubs or pure gyms, it's literally just one brand of equipment throughout the whole of the gym. And then I understand why they do that, but the more independent gyms, it's nice when they kind of hand pick equipment. However, I believe that when that gym was actually first opened, because the Watson Gym Equipment Factory is literally opposite it. So I think the whole reasoning behind that gym was so customers of Watson Gym Equipment could go over, try it, have a feel of it, see what it looks like and try the kit before they actually buy it. So that's obviously the reason behind it. So I totally understand it. Um, but just from my personal preference, if I go to a gym, I do like to have kind of like hand selected bits of equipment that have been chosen for a reason rather than just like one brand of everything. Well, you love certain things of hammer strength, you love certain yeah. things of panata. Yeah, exactly. So it's nice to kind of have that variety of, of, of equipment. But other than that, the only other kind of cons I can think of is I think for me, I quite like it when they have like a, like a supplement bar. So they, they were very like um, vending dominant, whereas I quite like going into these independent gyms and being able to buy like a pre-workout that I've never tried before that you can kind of try if you like it, buy it, or get like a protein shake afterwards, whereas... Or even a big protein tub, normally that's where yeah. we... Yeah, we normally, one, yeah. Yeah, so, so I, it'd be quite nice if they kind of sort some supplements there rather than just the vending. Um, they did sell like a few bars and stuff like that and a few cookies and that, but I do like it when you can just go in there, it'll blend up a shake for you. It makes it a bit more communal as well, so you can kind of sit there before, have a chat, have your pre-workout, or sit there after your workout and have a shake. So I kind of like that in a the gym, they didn't have that. But other than that, I think that's only the real kind of negatives that I could find on that place. Yeah. But pros, like, I'm a big fan of the Watson kit anyway, so love the equipment, they've got loads of good like leg kit in there, like I showed you. Like, it's not a huge gym, so, you know, they've only maybe got like a couple of like, they've only got four back machines, haven't they? Then a couple of chest machines, quite a few shoulder machines. So they have got a good variety, but for me anyway, I prefer using more free weight movements. So it's a perfect balance for me of machines and free weights. Like the Watson dumbbells are awesome. Like I've said, the leg kit equipment's really good and the lighting's good as well. Like yeah. I love like those LED down lighter panels. Like, so the lighting's really good in there as well, which, which kind of makes the aesthetics look a lot better. Um, anything else you can think of, pros? Yeah, the female only area I think is really good, especially for conscious, yeah. self-conscious females. So they've got an upstairs bit where you can sort of, it's just female only. So I had a little wander up and it's in the video, so. Good. Um, and it was really pretty because it matched, everything matched. Yeah, we, we like stuff that we like, like stuff that matches. Match. We like, and that's sometimes a, a negative of when you go into gyms where you have got the hand selected kit. Most like good gyms will get it resprayed, get the upholstery trained. So although it's different branded kit, it looks the same. That's what I like. Like your ultra flexes, they do that absolutely spot on. But other than that, I thought it was really really good. Really enjoyed it. Good workout. Obviously, a few things to make it a little bit better, but there's no oh, perfect gym. Day pass. Oh, yeah, we forgot to mention that, yeah. The, I, I had that in my head all the way along that I was going to mention that. £10 per person for a day visit. Extortionate. Like, we've trained at God knows how many independent gyms. Normally, it's five quid is, is the standard rate in the UK. Maybe six, at a push, seven. But £10 for a day session. Like, I wouldn't necessarily go back again and pay 10 quid for a no. session when I can go around the corner at Falcon and pay a fiver, isn't it? So, yeah, that, that's really downside is the price is expensive. And I understand from a business perspective, they want to make the day rate cheap so people are more 
inclined to then buy a membership because it saves them a lot of money but for people like us or other people that generally just want to train at a different gym and just use the pay as you go option 10 pound is excessive isn't it that's a lot of money it's a lot of money especially for a normal like me that don't like spending money that is a lot but other than that guys we'll wrap the video up there hope you enjoyed it make sure you give the video a thumbs up as always if there's any other gyms you want us to try out Drop it down in the comment section below. We've got a few in Wales that we're going to get done within the next month. We're also going up north next weekend and we've got a gym in mind that we're going to go and visit up north as well. So we're bringing these videos out for you guys thick and fast so you guys can kind of look at the gyms that we've trained at and hopefully if you're in the area you can train at them too. But don't forget guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel and until next time... Well. We're both going topless when you get to 1,000. I was just about to say, you've literally just like messed up my outro, but you mentioned topless, so I'll let you off for that. Yeah, no one's, everyone's seen me topless, but you know. I'll do it, I'll do she'll it. She'll do it, likes. fine. 1,000 subscribers, Lucy's gonna get her webbers out. <laughs> right, peace.